Alright, what's good, son? It's your boy, Ian. You already know me. And this is Forever Slow Stroking, the podcast episode 85, son. Dang, yo, we really moving in this right now. Life be flying, but, um, so there's some things going on in the market this coming week that I kind of want to prepare everybody for, right, son? You have different events, right? And the first one that I'm going to talk about, and you may question why, why start with this one, but the first one is, um, retail sales, right? So we're going to, uh, on the 16th, we have news coming out in the U.S. regarding retail sales. So it's going to be for gas um, and autos, meaning like car sales, fuel, as well as, um, you know, shopping, right? So there are a few things that you should be kind of looking for, right? As things in the U.S. continue to, you know, cook up based off of what's going on in Russia and Ukraine, son, with Russia and Ukraine, there are a lot of projections for, you know, fuel, you know, fuel has, has been consumed, you know, regularly throughout the U.S. And now they're pushing electric vehicles. And now is the real, you know, major time to get into purchasing the EV because fuel is, you know, in some places up to $7 per gallon. And that's crazy. So depending on the type of fuel you, um, you use me personally, all my vehicles take premium gas. So, I mean, that turned kind of crazy, but also me, I, I work from home, so I barely um, have to drive, but I do drive, you know what I'm saying, for grocery shopping and other things like that, right? But that's beside the point. So, you know, gas is high and these numbers will reflect that. And I'm kind of curious to see how it all plays out. Um, one stock that I kind of would be looking towards is um, is VLO, right? So I'm kind of looking at VLO, not because there's something wrong with it, but um, I called VLO out um, a few weeks ago and it finally picked up and went over $90. My target for VLO was $90 and it went over 90, now sitting at um, $91.67. Um, so I think VLO will continue to run as they report these uh, these numbers for um, gas, autos and retail um so these um numbers that come out on the 16th will definitely help with that right in addition based off of just that alone looking at macy's right macy's is at a pretty favorable price in my opinion right now i'm um, just bouncing off of the 200 moving average on the daily i think that macy's could continue to push forward um higher and higher but also you got to understand the conditions of the market that we have right the market conditions are definitely bearish um and there's so many things going on that's trying to prevent it they're trying to do a ceasefire but you know putin ain't ain't going for it don't seem like but that's not for me to really comment on um i try to stay away from the war topic but definitely prayers to to everybody you know that's suffering because you got people in russia who's suffering because they can't purchase goods no more because now they don't have access to their credit cards right visa and mastercard is shut down in russia um, then also you have people in the Ukraine who are, you know, losing their lives, losing their families, um, um, and they can't get out of the country. It, it really is sad, but, you know, just prayers for them, definitely. Um, but so Macy's definitely is on the watch list. If you looked at, uh, no Nordstrom, when they reported earnest, how Nordstrom really took off, son. I think that Macy's is going to be one of those stocks that kind of does a follow-up based off of that, son, and that's what I'm projecting. Another important news event that's coming out this week is um, FOMC. FOMC on the same day, the 16th, uh, but this is happening at uh, 1300, that's 1 o'clock. So at 1 o'clock p.m. On, um, on the 16th, FOMC is, yeah, it's happening, right? They also have Fed interest rate decisions, all that. But FOMC is the big event, right? That's that's the huge event. And for that, I'm really um, keeping my eyes on commodities such as gold and silver, right? You also have like um, oil commodities and other things that's been popping off lately. But primarily gold um, and silver. And for the gold, if you're on the Forex side or you want to know the true gold spot price, just type in on TradingView XAUUSD and that'll pull up the uh, the gold for you um but looking at gold on the daily sun it still looks extremely bullish it had a, a double top you know close to well a little uh i would say about 
$2,050 around that area. Had a, a double top. But, um, actually, let me actually, I can actually get you the real price. Oh, this joint is off. My little mouse is off. But let's see if we can connect. All right, bet. So, a double top, literally, what I just said, 2050. So, double top there, um, and then it came down. But I don't think the reversal, uh, is going to fully continue, but if it does, we do have some stopping points, right? Around 1910, you know, uh, 1975, 1970. These are all places where you can find no support or, or you can stop out your positions if you were looking to play long, meaning bullish. Um, but that's pretty much what I'm looking at, right? So FOMC is really going to be a huge event, and I would anticipate the market to kind of be on hold you know, with that event coming, right? You still have SPY. I think SPY is going to go back down to 411, right? Honestly, I think SPY is going to go much lower than that. But, you know, on a conservative level, I would say SPY is going to go back down to 411. And if you're looking at QQQ, which represents like the NASDAQ just about, um, the, that joint still has room to fall as well, right? I'm looking for the QQQ to hit around 310. It's now sitting at 324, but I think that is even going to pull back some. So, like I said, it's... It's all dependent on, um, I don't even think it depends on the numbers at this point, but FOMC, it definitely depends on what they say. Uh, definitely hope uh, Powell makes some pretty good and um, and strong decisions uh, during the events. And we, you know, we can get the market back to a decent level. I mean, it's at a decent level. Prices of companies are, are not bad, but it was just a dramatic pullback, right? It was a it was a true correction, but we'll kind of see how that plays out. Stay tuned into the morning market conversations throughout the week, son, for consistent daily updates. Also on Twitter, I do give some updates as well on Instagram. I'm gonna start giving some updates on Instagram as well. But but yeah, son, that's how it is. that's all I got. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's how it's gonna be. So we'll see how it plays out. And um, yeah, if you got anything you want me to talk about, just hit me. But for now, I gotta go. Ooh.